All right, so maybe it's just me, but I clean off my devices as I go. And I, I feel it's a responsibility. If you got time, it's your responsibility to make sure they're clean, especially with the virus going around. Just kidding. Okay, let's see if it works. This is walk test. This is on an audio system 4100. Clean all that out. It's nice and clean. And now we're going to reset it. Okay, so you do every every device in the building. Works very well. They invented walk test and they patented it. So that's that's where it came from. All right, so then it comes time when you're finished. It's kind of cool. So go menu. Walk test. We turn it off. So you press one. I don't know if you caught that, but it said testing completed. You could just hear it in the distance. I'm in a loud room here, so you're not going to hear it. But trust me, it said testing completed. Just, oh, and it's going to show trouble for about two minutes. For some reason, it takes a while to clear on this older panel. This panel's uh, from 1995, so it's got some pretty old technology in it. There we go. It'll clear up in a sec. There you go, clear. That was about uh, 45 seconds. Uh, we did walk test because it was a simplex panel. It was audio. And what would normally take about five days takes us about two and a half days. And there's two of us, three of us if you include the fitter. But you could probably do it with one person in about three days. So walk test it is. Don't get me wrong, we still did a proper 536. All the devices were tested. Um, the sequence was tested. But in this clip, you're going to see some battery connectors that are questionable. Uh, also, I had a, a Simplex Pulse Station T-Bar that failed. Never seen that before in my life. I've been doing this 35 years. And what else? Oh, pre-action. Pre-action I'll probably do on clip number two. So enjoy. Oh yeah, we're going up to the 16th floor. And there's a pull station there. It's a simplex T-bar pull station. And it's failed. And I've never seen a simplex T-bar pull station fail. But let's take a look. Back in the air, we can go through it if you want. It's not that loud. 